Start a business, get a job, get back in the game. Our next guest says a big part of all that is getting the government off our backs so that we can all succeed tomorrow. Mike Whelan is in a great position to chart our progress. He owns and operates 31 restaurants and hotels in six Midwestern states. He is the CEO of Heart of America Restaurants and Inns, and he joins us now. Uh, congratulations for all your success, Mike. How do, you, how do you manage to maintain that success when the government is bearing down so hard? Well, David, the last few years, it's been pretty hard. It's been kind of hunkered down. I think most all uh, entrepreneurs in this country, uh, starting in late 08, uh, went through 09 and 010 and just kind of hunkered down and uh, stayed for cover because they were scared, they were confused, and they didn't know what to do given all the avalanche of policies that was coming their way. Now, what was, what's been the worst for you? What's been the biggest impediment uh, for you in terms of running a successful business? Well, I'll tell you, the, the, the single biggest impediment, nobody seems to talk about it here in Washington, is that the federal government needs to stop stopping jobs. And people sit there and go, well, why aren't they lending to small business? Why aren't they lending to small business? Well, I'll tell you why. Uh, the OCC, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, the underwriters of small banks, have got every banker I know scared to death to make loans. And uh, recently, we just did uh, two major projects, went through almost 25 banks before we found one wow. that said, I don't, I don't care what they say, we're going to make the loan. So uh, they need to stop, stop from making loans. That's the first thing that they can do. So they're, they're primarily they're skittish because of what we just went through over the past couple of years with the subprime mess. Uh, they're, the, the regulators are skittish. They don't want another financial meltdown. So they're being too hard. The pendulum's gone in the other direction. Uh, what about all these new financial regs uh, that go beyond just those provisions that, that, that hurt people uh, who are trying to make loans or who need loans? Well, I think that there's a lot of confusion of exactly what there needs to be done. One banker just told me, he said, you know, I'm afraid if I make a loan under these new regs that it's so loose that they're going to come in next year and put this loan on the watch list, which means I've got to write capital off. So rather than do that, they're just kind of frozen in fear. So I laugh when they say, why aren't they making loans out in the hinterland? The second thing they're doing out there is they're assassinating jobs in, in a way that I don't think people understand. Let me give you an example. Right in my home state of Iowa, uh, one of the utilities proposed a new coal plant, a clean cutting coal plant that actually would be net carbon neutral because they were gonna take a bunch of dirty plants offline. Gonna burn biomass, carbon sequestration, bring uh, thousands of jobs for a number of years in construction and then a few mm -hmm. thousand what afterwards. Happened? Well, what do you think happened? It quietly got killed by this administration because mm -hmm. the utility company decided that uh, they didn't want to take on potential cap and trade. And I just had one union guy tell me that instead of 100 guys on the bench, he would have had 400 guys working. That's just that's just one project. Unbelievable. Mike, we got to run and I, I got to have you back. Please come back and see us again because you, you provide great examples. But the job picture, according to the president, is turning around. But then we get reports that maybe as a percent of the whole population, we aren't employing more people. What's what do you see in the heartland? Are are we or are we not turning things around in the jobs front? Well, we are, but very slowly. We've gained 60,000 jobs above the 150 we need just for new population growth last, last month. The way I look at it, that's 100 months before we get back to 5% employment, right. and that's eight and a half years. We need to kick this job machine into gear. You're absolutely right, and we do it by getting the government the hell out of the way. Please come back and see us <laughs> again soon, Mike. Good to see you. Thank Mike you. Whelan, Heart of America.